I met Sister Adams in August of 1978 in Houston, Texas. I was 18 years old and a freshman at Gulf Coast Bible College. I had entered college life with the hopes that possibly God might allow me to teach music to high school students, but I wasn't really sure if I could actually do that. But once I entered into the spiritual atmosphere of the school, my life began to change in dramatic ways. And one of the main avenues that change came into my life was through the influence of Sister Adams. There were three things that drew me right away to her. First was her amazing musicianship. In my mind, she could do anything musically. I mean, just her keyboard skills alone were amazing. She could uh, make everything from Bill Gaither to Johann Sebastian Bach sound fabulous. Uh, she could accompany anybody. She could play with such authority when uh, she was accompanying a congregation and then on a dime turn and play real gently yet supportively to a soloist. She could do arpeggios, octaves, she could change keys, uh, she could play by ear. Uh, whatever she needed to do, she could pull it off. She had this amazing ability to be able to sight read, to be able to look at a piece of music for the first time and play it. And when you would hear her play, it didn't matter what level it was, you would think she had practiced for months on that piece. Her musical ear was phenomenal. She could hear pitches and intonation like nobody I've ever met before. Uh, she had a vivid mind that could wrap itself around um, the concepts and the creativity found within music theory and in counterpoint. What was just mind-bottling to me was her mission was to pour all of that knowledge and to hone all of that skill in me. Uh, it changed my life. The second thing that drew me to her was her spirit of encouragement. I never left a, a lesson, never left a classroom setting with her feeling defeated or overwhelmed. She always had words of encouragement. She always spoke into my life um, the ability for me to do things that I never really ever thought I could do. Thirdly, I was drawn to the fact that she loved Jesus Christ with all of her heart. And that love for God came out in everything she did, from the way that she loved her husband, to the way she loved her children, to the way that she ministered in the local church on such a, a level of faithfulness, the way she loved the school, the way she loved us as students. It, it just drew me in. And as I pondered back, I remembered the days of Anderson Camp Meeting when every year I would go to camp meeting and one of the top priorities I would have would be to seek out Brother and Sister Adams. And once I would find them, she would always welcome me with a warm smile and a welcoming embrace. And since her passing, I have thought that by God's grace, one day he's going to call me home and I'm going to be able to go into this wonderful place that she now has gone, heaven. And I'm going to be looking her up, and you can rest assured that when I find her, she will greet me again with a warm smile and a welcoming embrace. Brother Adams, Jane, and Randy, thank you so much for allowing me to share today. Please know that I will be praying for you and your family over the next several weeks and months. And lastly, I praise this amazing God who changed my life in so many amazing ways through this amazing woman. God bless you.